Hello everyone, I am Manju, you are watching Grammar with Manju ma'am. Today I am here with the topic phrases and types of phrases. So let's first understand what are phrases. Phrases are group of words. They do not give complete meaning. They are not subject verb combination and they stand when used in a sentence. Okay, so this you can understand with a couple of examples. Here I have written in the east. You see here in the east, it's a group of words. There are three words in, the and east. But is it giving a meaning? No, it's not giving a complete meaning. We can understand that something we are talking about the direction east. But what exactly we are talking that is not clear. So we need to add a combination of subject and verb which really fits with this phrase. Alright. So let's see in the east. Very simple we can write the sun rises in the east. The sun. The sun is subject and rises is a finite verb. So the sun rises in the east. Now it's giving a complete sense. So you saw in the east was a phrase when the sun a subject rises a finite verb is added then it's giving a complete sense. If finite verb concept is not very clear you can go to the playlist uh, verb family and there you can watch uh, finite verb, non-finite verb in very detail it's explained there. Okay now second one a good looking girl now again you see here it's a group of four words but again it's giving incomplete meaning means we are talking something about a beautiful girl okay but what we are talking that is not clear. So if we add here my friend is a good looking girl my friend is a good looking girl then it's giving a complete sense here you see. A good looking girl is a phrase and my friend is subject and is is a verb. Now third example behind the chair. What is behind the chair? It's not clear. So if I write the cat is behind the chair. The cat is behind the chair. The cat is subject is is verb now it's giving a complete sense now let's look into the types of phrases there are mainly three types of phrases noun phrases adjective phrases and adverb phrases let's look into the noun phrase what is a noun phrase noun phrase is a group of words without a finite verb without a finite verb and functions as a noun in a sentence and it can be a subject or the object of the verb. Okay. So let's see with a couple of examples. Here the boys were dancing. The boys were dancing. Here if you see the boys. Here boy is what? The boy is noun. You can say noun or subject. Yes. But by adding the article it becomes a phrase. Which phrase? Noun phrase. Why? Because it's a noun. Boy is a noun. So the boys became noun phrase. Understood? This is noun phrase. For noun phrase I can write N and P short form. Now let's see the second example. Boys want to go home. Here you see. Boys want. Boys is subject. Want is finite verb. Now home is. Home is. Noun. Home is noun and to go is infinitive. To go is infinitive. It is not verb. Keep in mind. So to go home. To go home. To go is adding extra meaning to home. So this is which phrase? Noun phrase. Now third example. The students denied doing their work. The students denied. The students ne mana kar diya. Kya? Doing their work. Again here doing is not verb. Please remember this. Doing is a gerund here. Doing their work. Work is noun. Work is noun. And doing their work. It is modifying the word work. Adding extra meaning to work. The students denied what? Doing their work. So this is again what? Noun 
phrase. Let's see the second type that is adjective phrase. What is adjective? Adjective is a word which tells us about a noun. Okay, so what is adjective phrase now? A group of words that does the work of an adjective in a sentence. So let us see some examples and then you will understand it better. Narendra Modi is a popular leader. Narendra Modi is a popular leader. Here you see. Leader is noun. Which word is describing leader? Popular. So popular is adjective. Adjective. Now, Narendra Modi is a popular leader. Here it is an adjective. But it is not a phrase. Why? The very first criteria is, it is a group of words. So popular, is it a group of words? No. So it's describing the leader. The leader is popular, but it's not a phrase. Now you see, if popular can be changed into a phrase. Narendra Modi is a leader liked by people. Narendra Modi is a leader liked by people. So here, what kind of leader Narendra Modi is? Who is liked by people, liked by others, liked by many people. Okay. So here liked by people. That describes Narendra Modi or the leader? Leader. What kind of leader is Narendra Modi? Liked by other people. So here liked by people. This is what? Adjective phrase. Adjective phrase. Adjective phrase. Okay. Second example. She is wearing a loose frock. She is wearing a loose frock. Again, she is wearing what kind of frock? Loose frock. Frock is noun. And loose is adjective. So, it's not adjective phrase. Why? It's one single word. So, the very first criteria you have to always keep in mind whenever it is, we are talking about phrase. It means it has to be a combination of words. Group of words. Okay. So, she is wearing a very loose frock. When I say a very loose frock. Frock is now that you, you have understood. Now, she is wearing a very loose frock. She is wearing what kind of frock? A very loose frock. So, this a very loose frock. What it is? This is adjective phrase. Adjective phrase. Now, third example you see. The rose is a beautiful flower. Rose is a beautiful flower. So flower is noun, you know. Flower is noun. Beautiful is an adjective. So this is an adjective. But we are looking for adjective phrase. So let's see the second part. The rose is a flower of beauty. Now, flower of beauty. Flower of beauty. So flower is what? It is noun. What kind of flower? Of beauty. So this is adjective. But what kind of adjective? This is adjective phrase. We can write it. Adjective phrase. Now coming to the third type. And that is adverb phrase. What is an adverb? Adverb. Which adds meaning to the verb. Okay. So what is an adverb? An adverb is a word which gives extra information about the verb. But here we are talking about adverb phrase. Okay. So it's a group of words that does the work of an adverb in a sentence. So let us understand with a couple of examples. Here you see, he finished his work very fast. He finished his work. How? Very fast. He finished his work very fast. If I would have said, he finished his work fast. So fast is adverb. But very fast, very fast. And very is adding extra information to the adverb fast. That's the reason this very fast is what? Adverb phrase. Adverb phrase. Okay. Adverb and phrase. Alright. And second one. She performed in a nice manner. If I say she performed nicely, nicely is an adverb. Okay? But nicely can be also said in a in a nice manner. She performed how? How did she perform? She performed in a 
nice manner. So in a nice manner. Okay. It's a group of words which is working as an adverb. So it is what? Adverb phrase. What is adverb phrase? Which is inside the bracket. Next one. The old ship was broken into many pieces. Old ship was broken. This broken is what? This is verb. So broken. How it is? it was broken? It was broken into many pieces. So many pieces. Into many pieces. This is adverb of phrase. Now they completed their homework really fast. They completed their homework. They completed their homework how? Really fast. Really fast. Fast. So this really fast is a group of word which is working in this sentence as an adverb. So it is adverb phrase. Adverb phrase. And my sister sat in the corner. My sister sat. Again you see here verb. Sat. Okay. And sat where? In a corner. So in a corner is describing about the sat. Sat where? In a corner. So this in a corner. It's a group of words and it is adverb phrase. I hope you have understood three types. That is noun phrase, adjective phrase and adverb phrase. If you really found this video informative and helpful, please share it with your friends. Meeting in the next video. Till then, bye-bye.